his funeral, I, I was a little rough on his friends. And because I, I knew they did drugs, but then because I thought he was just trying to help them. So I thought, uh, so I wouldn't allow, it was almost by invitation only. Didn't have it at the church we had at the funeral home because I did not want those kids there. And uh, so may, I might have been a little rough, but. Well, you were in a lot of pain. I was in a, a, a lot of pain. You know, they, they would, some of them called, and, and I knew that these particular ones were on drugs, and I just told them I never wanted to hear from them again. It sounds harsh now, you know, eight months later, almost a year later. What we felt at the time. I think we were protecting ourselves, too. I didn't want to deal with them. Oh, he's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> he was just adorable. And uh, he was always busy doing something, you know, taking things apart, putting them back together again. It's hard to put a life into a small packet. You know how little kids in school have friends, but you know, the next year they have different friends, but they went right along together. He used to tell everyone Don he was his brother. Neither one of them had a brother. And of course, um, and Joey had a son, as you probably know, and they'd bring Jaden over here. And we had horses next door and we were down back. And there was one horse that little Jaden picked out. He called it Spirit. So many times Donnie would bring him over here alone to see Spirit. And, you know, he was very, very good with... Uh, Children and old people. Mm -hmm. He'd go to the grocery store, store for me, he'd be gone forever because he was talking to all the old ladies. <laughs> I said, Donnie, you went grocery shopping, uh, you know their history? <laughs> That's the way he was, you know. It felt so good when Joey was doing good. And then Joey would slip and it really affected Donnie. And he, he was uh, Jaden's godfather, little fella. They were both great at helping other people, not so much themselves. And it came as a complete surprise to me. I'm just, I was just totally amazed that this was going on under our own roof and I didn't recognize it. Well, one day um, he took too many pills and that up to June. He died in November, and there was the June before. And um, he took a lot of pills and he almost died then. So that's when I knew. I heard them come in. And they came right into the room, out to the living room. And uh, he said, you know, Donnie was gone. And I lost it. Kind of lost it for a while. It was just unbelievable after Daniel. Just unbelievable. This this boy was such a part of us. Well, he lived here most of his life. Yeah. So, we miss him. Oh, because Don misses talks in the um, garage. <laughs> and. I would go into my room and watch TV at night, and he would be in nine or ten times a night to tell me something, to talk about something, in and out, in and out. If he'd been out, he'd always come in to see me. And it was very, very hard for a while not to have that. I just kept expecting him to see him at the door. Here he is up with the, uh, the lava rocks. <laughs> That's an old picture of his mom. We'd seen a lot of him that week, and he was so happy. He was 34 days clean, <coughs> and he was so happy about it. And he bounced out of here the day before. Yeah, I'm coming back next week, and we're going to spend a whole day because I'd like to hang with you guys. <laughs> so then the next night he was down there. 
Yeah, we've been in and out all that week. And uh, he was very pleased with himself. That's why it was such a mm -hmm. shock. In where he, safe haven, I guess it is, they test them for drugs about three times a week. And all I have to do is find them once and they're out. And he knew that. That's why I question him just taking them himself. I really do. You'd seen him the night before? The day before. The day before. And he said he'd be back the next week? Yeah, spend a whole day. 